Hey guys, I'm Juliana, your automotive woman, and this week I'm unboxing the Lamoto D1 4K three channel dash cam. So first, I'm gonna highlight the features and some do's and don'ts, and then provide you with my installation tips and tricks, and then show you the quality of the camera. Keep watching. As expected, given the price point of this particular dash camera, the Lamoto comes packaged inside a nice tight box to protect all the items inside. And I appreciate how the featured benefits of the camera are illustrated and printed on the exterior. Personally, before installing anything, I prefer laying out all the items and reading the instructions to ensure I'm following any do's and don'ts. For example, on the inside cover of the Lamoto instruction manual, it says, and I'm paraphrasing here, do not connect this dash cam with a non Lanmoto charger because the voltage converter may damage the cam. Do not use the product if it has become wet and do not touch with wet hands. And prior to powering the dash cam, insert and format the SD card, which is included with your purchase. But FYI, you'll need to format the SD card with your personal computer first. I'm gonna add a suggestion here, which is download the available app so you can share video and image files more easily. Installation isn't super complicated. Just use some patience and these tips. First, before attaching the Lamoto to the suction cup, look beneath the device where you'll see buttons to power the device, connect to Wi-Fi, change visual modes, and confirm settings. On the other side, you'll see a slot for your SD card, which you've already pre-formatted, and one port for your device power supply and one port for your rear view camera connection. I recommend you familiarize yourself with these functions, but you could also use your app for many of them. And the Lamoto automatically turns on when you plug it into your 12 volt port. Now, as per the instruction manual, connect the Lamoto device to the suction cup, then to the windshield, and then twist the handle to lock it into place. And here's my tip number one. If you secure your dash cam a little bit higher into the side of the rear view mirror, it's gonna be easier to hide your cables when the installation process is complete. The next step is very easy. Connect the power supply cable to the camera, then plug it into your 12 volt port, and then start your vehicle and adjust the camera angle to your preference, ensuring your view is not obstructed. My tip number two, plug the power supply cable pointing in the direction of up. So remember the Lamoto comes equipped with three channels or essentially three different views. And I like the fact how they supply you with 3M tape so it's easy to install. Also, this is fantastic. The camera, you could actually adjust the angle. And remember, only install this rear view camera on the inside of the vehicle. I would recommend a dashboard camera to literally anyone on the road because it adds that extra layer of safety. But at the very least, if you are in the market for a dash cam, you have to look for these particular features that the Lamoto D1 offers, such as 4K resolution because the images and video files will be way more clear a wide angle so the camera captures more of what's going on around you. A dash camera which provides multiple views. Night vision is a must, especially if you live out in the country. But number one for me, the parking mode security option. This is amazing and I would never recommend a dash cam which doesn't provide this feature. And then to complement the parking mode security option, I really like the G sensor, which comes with the Lamoto D1 because it detects sudden shakes or collision and locks the footage to an emergency folder, providing evidence for your insurance company. To learn more about the Lamoto D1, click on the links down below and visit my website, automotivewoman.com. Thanks for watching guys.